Hello, hello, welcome to Wellbeing Wednesday, back in my studios. Very nice to have you with me. I'm back here, I've got my favorite mug. Mm. All is good. Hi, hello, Karen, Jenny, hi, Liverbird. Hilary, Noah's Nan, brilliant, Dara. Hello, hello. I am going to patch in Facebook. Let's see, are they with us today? Hello, good afternoon, Facebook. Had to think there for a moment. <laughs> How are you? Hope everybody is super well. This is Wellbeing Wednesday, so it's all about wellness and wellbeing, and I'm back here in my wellbeing studios. There are certain things that I can only do from here, so um, in order to publish the magazine. So here I am on my own. Uh, well, not on my own, because I'm joined by you, and it's really nice to be here, and it's nice to be in London. You know, I was out this morning, I went for my run really early, got up early, got it out of the way, and even though it was really early in the day, lots and lots of people about running and cycling, and, you know, I think people just aware of getting fit, getting their fitness in, and enjoying a bit of vitamin D, so I hope that you're able to as well. Hi there, Tina. Hi, nice to see you. So it actually reminded me that as we're kind of going out and about um, a little bit more uh, about masks, and I'm just going to show you one. Um, bear with me one second. Uh, so like lots of people, I've kind of, you know, tried lots of different masks and things, and I know they say they don't work and all of that, but anyway, we kind of have to go with the flow, don't we? So I got this, this one, which is not very attractive at all. And actually it's quite uncomfortable and it's got ties and it's a fiddle. So it reminded me of the sock tutorial that I did uh, a little while back. And I don't know whether you saw it, but I just thought I might try and redo it. So I am gonna wing this a bit because I haven't done it for a few weeks. So you basically take a sock. So this is a sock. And I'm going to have to really think hard now about how I did this. Um, there are lots of tutorials like this online, but it was just a bit of fun. And it's actually really comfortable and it's quite easy and kids can do it. And I think the first thing I did was fold it in half like this. And then you're going to snip the toe off and you're going to snip the cuff off. So, oh, do you really? You haven't seen it. Okay, here we go. Uh, middle-aged granny, uh, mama granny say, yes, use them every day. Simple but brilliant. Great. Okay, so here goes. <laughs> it's going to be a real disaster. Uh, anyway, it's only us. It doesn't really matter. Right, I'm going to cut. Actually, no, I'm going to have to cut them off one at a time because these socks are quite thick. Okay, so the toe comes off and then the end bit comes off like that. So one bit there, one bit there. Actually, I have to tell you, when I did this, and posted it the other day. I had a lovely comment from somebody on Instagram saying, great, not only have you made a mask, but you've also got a skirt and a hat for Dolly, which is true. There's a little Dolly hat, little Dolly skirt. There you go. <laughs> Love this. Right, okay, so there we go. So now you've got something that's this kind of shape. Okay, so then, if I remember rightly, you snip off a little triangular piece like this at each side. Um, I hope this is right, otherwise it's not going to work, but there we go. And then you snip up below that, like that. Okay, so you've snipped that, can you see? So, and do that the other side. So you've got this rather odd shape. I hope you've got lots of odd socks flowing around because you might have to practice a bit. And then the last thing is to cut it in half, so then you go along the long straight edge and you snip it like this. And then, if we're lucky, we might have a mask. How about that? And actually, it's really comfortable and really easy to wear. And there's no, you know, faffing about with strings and there's no sewing. There we are. And if you've got little people who want to use little socks, or great big people who want to use great big socks, um, you know, you could use a massive sock, couldn't you, and have a beard and everything hidden inside it. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that again with you in case you hadn't seen it, because being back in the city just made me think of it. 
Uh, although surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, you know, very few people I saw actually wearing masks. But um, that's another story and I'm not going to go there today because today I'm in my studios. I'm glad you like that. Oh, Seals, you missed it again. Okay, you're gonna have to rewind. I forget what day it was. It is on my Instagram TV. Uh, but basically you turn this sock into, actually you don't have to go back and um, rewatch it again because you can just rewatch this one into this. There you go. Voila. And actually this might be really handy. I know that Celia's watching in Kenya um, because in Kenya people have got very little access to all sorts of things generally. Um, you know, certainly not needle and thread and sewing machines and all of that, but most people do have socks. A lot of people don't, something that we take for granted, but um, a lot of people will have socks and, you know, a pair of scissors. So there you go. Anyway, it's good to share, isn't it? Let's keep all the good stuff going. So today I am here in my studios. This is my backdrop. This is kind of where I work. And I just wanted to share a few things with you. One of the things that I woke up to this morning was a delivery of my shot box. Uh, so this is for those of you who live in the UK and this is the Healthy Juice Company. And we did, in the current issue of the magazine, we've done a commercial collaboration with them. This is the second time we've done it. And basically I worked with Rosie, who is the founder of the Healthy Juice Company to create healthy shots. And that's because I was going out and about and sometimes you can buy these little tiny plastic bottles and they might have a shot that's like turmeric or beetroot juice or something. And I would get these occasionally. And number one, I didn't like the plastic that I had to throw away each time. And number two, they were really expensive and quite small. Um, and I thought actually I could put a bit more in this. I want to put more. I don't just want, you know, beetroot juice and ginger or just a bit of turmeric and apple you know, what about creating something a bit bigger? So I had worked with Rosie last year when we did our first lot of juices and I really admire her. You know, I have to say, Rosie, I don't know if you're watching, but hats off to you and your husband, Andy. You guys, you have, you take work ethic to a whole new level. I mean, you are just brilliant. Every juice is cold pressed by Rosie in her kitchen, only using organic ingredients. Everything is organic uh, and she won't have plastic anything um, and she's just great you know it's just a one-man band another example of a British brand founder wanting to do something the right way terrible margins you know really really hard really expensive really time-consuming you know really bad business model but boy producing great great products so it's lovely to share and I think especially at this time when a lot of us are looking at supporting our health better or maybe sending something you know, to somebody else who wants a bit of a boost. So this is what I got in the morning on my doorstep. Um, I got this lovely box. And inside uh, is all the instructions and the directions. A little card from Rosie. And I love the way she hand writes everything. And it's got little um, reusable ice packs in it. And then the, you can get a one day version, which has three of these little shot bottles and they're in cardboard. Look at that, isn't that cute? And this is the green juice, which I love it, called Go Go Green. And um, that's one with the watercress, you know, I was talking about earlier in the week. Um, I'm just gonna run through this very quickly. I just wanted to share it with you in case you've missed it before. This is the golden shot. This is the turmeric one. Give that a shake, because it's just got so much great stuff. Honestly, go and have a look online um, afterwards. And then this is my favorite. Uh, which is the cinnamon almond chia, which I love, which is the almond milk, cold pressed. She cold presses her almond milk. And really interesting, actually, the backstory behind juices and how some of them are preserved, or they may not have added preservatives. So they might say they're preservative free, but they get put under enormous pressure to change their structure. So they last longer, they have a shelf life. And they have to do that once they've been packed and they can only do it under pressure in plastic, which is why so many juices and smoothies and all of these things that say they're preservative free are bottled in plastic because it means they can be, have this pressurization which changes the nutritional composition of the juice but doesn't have to be declared on the label. So it's very interesting, isn't it? It's like irradiating herbs. You know, that's one way of preserving herbs and, and other, other things. Lots of foods get irradiated, which we don't necessarily know about because it doesn't have to be listed on the pack. 
more of that anon um, but this is if you get the three day supply which I know is proving quite popular um, then you get this is the size of the bottle that it comes in and this is the green one here which needs a bit of a shake oops let me just stick it's a pretty little label back on and there we go so fabulous like medicines aren't they well they are like medicines actually and then you also get because I wanted to make it a real boost so I put a couple of my favorite kind of boosting supplements, if you like. So there's Altrian C, which is a liposomal vitamin C. I've written more about that on Lazar Wellbeing, if you want to know more about the different types of vitamin C and how they work. Um, and also a really powerful probiotic, VSL3. And this one sachet. Okay, so guess, let's have a competition. Guess how many colony forming bacteria you get in one sachet. I'm not gonna tell you now, okay? I could just let you, I just let you type in what you think on Facebook or Instagram, how many, and don't cheat if you've got this, don't go and look it up, um, how many beneficial bacteria in this little sachet? I shall leave that with you as a question. And the other thing that you get is because Rosie's really into reusing and recycling and all of that, is she makes her own almond milk. So what happens when you make almond milk is you get all your almond pulp left over. And what do you do with it? Well, great thing that you can do with it. If you are making almond milk, you might know this, of course, is that you can use the pulp. You can use it in cooking. You can add it to muffins and things as a really good prebiotic fiber. You can obviously add it to your compost heap, but you can also turn it into a beauty bomb. So this, and I have to say, this smells so great. She's infused this with organic lavender essential oil. Oh, it smells heavenly. So this is just in a little bit of undyed muslin cloth with a bit of string. You pop that into your bath um, and it just scents the bath and almond pulp is really good. If you're making your own almond milk, you know, try a handful of almond meal, put it in a little cotton bag or a hanky or something like that. That's what it looks like inside, just to show you. That's the actual, the pulp, the dried meal that's come from the organic almonds. Whoops, let's <laughs> dip it all over the floor. Um, and she's just infused that with essential oil. Rosie, we love you, thank you. And it's not just me saying this, I know there've been lots and lots of comments about people who have been ordering the box. And I know the delivery is quite expensive, it's a nightmare, but it has to go by a courier because it's chilled, so it can't go Royal Mail. And a huge part of that cost is the courier. So Rosie, you're a dream, thank you. Um, there was a comment actually that I spotted. Let me just see. Thank you, Amy, for doing my iPad today. Um, you have, yeah, this was from Jill and Jill emailed Rosie. I don't know if you're watching this, Jill. Uh, you got your delivery this morning of the shop box and you have said, I am so thrilled. My delivery just arrived, so beautifully packed, such a personal service, cannot wait to try, try the golden shot and go, go green, beautiful flavours, so fresh. I'll need to restrain myself and not drink all in one time. Thank you so much. And that's from Jill. So brilliant, great stuff. And of course you can send them to friends, can't you? You can send them with a little note. I'm sure Rosie would put a little note, handwritten note in something. Um, I'm just seeing here if I've got, oh, RJ Howler, at least a dozen. Okay, how many beneficial bacteria are in a sachet of VSL3? Uh, oh, Healthy Juice Company. Hi, you are watching, Rosie. Nice to see you. Okay, Carrie says 240,000. Okay, 240,000. Any advance? Um, 20 billion. Wow, that's from Elaine. That's upping the stakes, isn't it? We've gone from, what, a dozen <laughs> to 240,000 to 20 billion, right? Okay, Margaret says... 30,000. Sarah, 40 billion. Gosh, billion, says Jenny. Uh, 10 billion, says Susie. Grocer's, Green Grocer's daughter, 40 billion. Trillions. I don't think there are trillions. Come on, Dove has some eggs. Calm down. It's not trillions. But we are talking billions. Yes, we are, Nikki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billions. Oh, I think somebody's got a packet because they got the answer right. <laughs> Okay, look, what are we saying on Facebook? Claire, 40 billion. Angela, 3 million. Rose, 40 million. Nikki has got it right. 2 billion, says Norma. Okay, so in one sachet of VSL3, which is why I put it into the shop box plus, because I just wanted it to be super powerful, 450 billion. Yeah, in one sachet, 450 billion. Isn't that amazing? 
So, something else that's personal. I mentioned there about Rosie um, writing little notes. This actually came from... Um, now, it was Helen, isn't it, in Australia. Are you watching me, Helen? Give me a wave if you're watching. Uh, so, Helen put a comment on my Instagram. When was it now? I think it was the day before yesterday. So, really, really recent saying, um, I'm in Australia, I've got lots of friends in the UK, I would love to send them a copy of your current magazine, um, which you can do, you can go onto the website, obviously there's our wellbeing and you can send it, that's no problem. She said, but do you know what, I'd love it if it could go with a personal gift message, that would be really nice. And it was just one of the mo most moments I thought, yes, why don't we do that? I could see my team kind of like going, oh no, oh no, she's done it again. She's going to say that she's going to do something uh, without discussing it. So yeah, I made an executive decision that we are going to send, if you want, the single issue of the magazine. There are a few caveats, so pay attention. Um, then we will send it with a handwritten note. And uh, I know my team have been really busy handwriting the notes, but how lovely, you know, it's not a very expensive thing. It's really thoughtful. This issue was actually written with kind of lockdown in mind. So if you look at the cover lines, for example, it's all about summer health at home, raise your resilience, stay supple and calm, make the most of me time with some gorgeous DIY beauty treats. Um, there's some really long reads in there. Understanding Alzheimer's is a really good one. You can win a year's supply of fresh flowers worth over a thousand pounds. There's how to boost your immunity or support your immunity anyway by taking cold showers. If you fancy that, I'll talk you through it. Um, bake your own sourdough pizza. Lots of recipes that we put in here that we've really tried to focus on things that you can do at home. So there's no sort of weird and exotic, strange ingredients in there. Anyway, long story short, if you want to send one of these to somebody, you can obviously send it to yourself if you want to try it and you've never seen the magazine before, then that's fine. Um, but if you want to send it to somebody that you care about, then you can do that. But you have to go to Liz Our Wellbeing website. And that's because if you want to sign up to the magazine and subscribe, then when you click the little link on the website that says buy the magazine, that takes you to Warners. And Warners are a lovely company. They are the guys who handle all our subscriptions. And so they deal with kind of all the annual subscriptions, 30% off, by the way, at the moment with Warners. So, you know, head there if you want to sign up for the year. <clears throat> but if you just want this one or any of the back issues, then you need to go through the Lizard Wellbeing website because we send them out. Well, when I say we, I mean, <laughs> basically my boys and I <laughs> will be taking them to the post office. So uh, that's how it works. So you need to go there. So if you look, um, I can show you actually, because there's something else I want to show you. I've got my iPad here. And hopefully I can show you. Okay, so this, um, I'm sure you're all familiar with it. This is the Lizzo Wellbeing Magazine homepage. And then if you go into search uh, and you go down to shop, it'll bring up all the kind of options for magazines and things. And if you go to magazine, where are we? Magazine, just taking a moment to load. There we go. So that brings up all the different magazines. So all the back issues. And this first box says subscribe to magazine. Well, if you click that one, you'll get through to the Warner's website. That's where it takes you to subscribe. So what you want is this one where it says in big letters, single issue, okay? So that's where you go. Now, if you'd like some free magazines, who doesn't like a free thing? I'll show you how to get some free magazines. Okay, so if you come to, go back to Liz Our Wellbeing homepage, go to shop, and then you go to digital magazines, and this is to get free digital magazines. Okay, so click on where it says digital. And this is actually with an organization called Readly. And for those of you who don't know, Readly is something that I discovered fairly recently, and they are an amazing organization, especially for now because they, once you sign up to Readly, you have access to literally tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of magazines from all around the world in all sorts of different areas. So, you know, from golfing to running, to cars, to cooking, to lifestyle, to health, to nutrition, to vegan, to, you know, whatever you want, anything. And we recently signed up Liz Our Wellbeing magazine to Readly. So we're now part of, part of them. So as part of those hundreds of thousands of magazines that you've got access to, you've also got access to Lizard Wellbeing. And what they've got at the moment is they've got a special offer um, where you get your first month free. 
and you can cancel after a month. So basically you can have a month completely free of reading every magazine in the world <laughs> by going to Readly, which I thought was great. So basically if you want to do that, and it also has the back issues. So if you want to see some back issues for Lizard Wellbeing magazine. So you go to where it says digital magazine, hope you can see that on there. And it says subscribe to Lizard Wellbeing magazine plus unlimited digital magazines with Readly. So you click on that. And let's see if that loads and takes you through. Yeah, that takes you through to this little section here and you click up and it says, um, subscribe to Liz Our Wellbeing plus unlimited digital. So I go like that, should I add to the basket and see what happens? Yeah, so that then opens up the Readly app and it says get one month for free. So basically you sign up and you've got your free month and then you can cancel it. If you don't like it, then just cancel it, but you've had your month. And I thought actually, do you know, at this time particularly, when we've all got maybe a little bit more time and it looks like we've got another month to go, doesn't it, of being restricted in terms of how much time we can spend outside or what we can do. What a great time to actually have a little look around and see what other magazines are out there. And I know you're all gonna to want to read mine, obviously, but you know, there's lots of other stuff. You can get Hello Magazine, you get all the gossipy ones as well. So anyway, thought I would share that with you. Now, while I'm here in my studios and I'm talking about magazines, I thought that you might like just to have a look at some of my back catalogue, if you like. Uh, so I know many of you have been collecting them and we do have some of the back issues online. So if you want single issues, if you're missing one from your collection, then you can go back and hopefully find it. We don't have all of them, but we have most of them. Um, but the first couple of magazines that I ever did never went into print. And that's because I didn't really intend to start a magazine. You know, it kind of seems odd sitting here now talking about it, having got, you know, really lovely, popular magazine. Um, but that wasn't what I thought about. I actually did my very first issue, which I'll show you. I've got it here. Um, so it's on my shelves behind me. So I've had to go out of vision, I think. I've got so many of them now, they kind of stretch uh, down the way. But the very first magazine I did started off, it started life as a one-off download and it was, it was about October time. I think it was, what was it, four years ago? Uh, I don't think it's even got a date on it actually. Yeah, it must have been, it was, yeah, it was Christmas 2014, six years ago, heavens, time flies. And I love Christmas. Those of you who know me well will know that I love Christmas. Christmas for me starts kind of back to school in September and that's when you know I'm thinking about Christmas decorations and cards and writing my lists and making Christmas cakes and all of that. So it was about October time and I said to Lily, who was here working with me at the time on my digital stuff, because we had the website by then, and I said, you know, I'd love to do a Christmas download um, which we could then share with everybody at Lizard Wellbeing. And, you know, it would have all my recipes in it and my Christmas cakes and all the little decorations that I make, you know, gold spraying walnuts and covering them in glitter and hanging them on the tree and all the traditions and all of that feasting and making mulled wine and things. So she said, oh yeah, I'm sure, you know, that sounds great. I can help you with that. So, so we created this and I said, well, how do we, how do we get it out there? And she said, well, you know, we can put it on the app store and we, people can download it. So there is a Liz Our Wellbeing app. And uh, so I said, well, that's great. Can you do that? And so she, she looked into it and she said, well, yes, I can do it. But um, they won't take a single issue. You've got to do four. So I said, oh, really? OK. So we were kind of committed by then. So we thought, well, OK, well, let's, let's, let's just do the four and, you know, we'll see how it goes or maybe we'll just do a couple and then we you know we won't do any more so anyway we did the christmas one it was really popular and uh, after christmas in january they were saying so you know we're gonna we're gonna do the next one i said well i don't know what do you think and she said well you know everybody signed up for the four you know they didn't just want the one they signed up for the whole year so we're kind of committed now so it was like okay um oh i hope you've got sound who has no sound today Andrea, is your, is your sound on? Has everybody else got sound? Let me know. Let me know if you haven't got sound. Facebook seems to be running okay. Is Facebook running okay? Give me a thumbs up. Hi, hi. Yeah, Archant. Archant are part of the story. I'll tell you about Archant. Um, good. It looks like you've got sound. Yeah, great. Let me know if you don't. Just send me a wave or something and I'll... And I'll um, well, I don't know what I could do about it. What's bleeping now? 
Oh, so I left the fridge door open. Excuse me. Right. Oh. There we go. Oh, so where was I? Okay. So, uh, so then, so this, I don't, has anybody seen this? Anybody remember this? This is the very, very first issue of Liz Our Wellbeing, and it wasn't in print, so I printed this out and bound it. You can get it on the app, Liz Our Wellbeing app, if you're super keen and want to have every single one in print, uh, then you can you know, go to the print shop, or if you've got a, a colour printer, you can print it off. So this was all of this, and it says, Welcome to the very first edition of Liz Our Wellbeing. I've always loved Christmas and the wonderful variety of preparations that go into so many traditions at this time of year. So it's a real treat to devote an entire edition to Christmas and fill it with fabulous festive fare and well-being ideas. So there you are. So that is the very first Liz Our Wellbeing. And so when Lil said, look, everybody wants all four. So we thought, oh, OK, great. Let's do another one. So we then did, we were quarterly back then, so we then did spring. So this is the second one. Okay, so this is, what's bleeping now? Oh, for goodness sake. Honestly, if it's not always interrupting me, it's flipping fridge doors. Right, stay shut. I thought I'd be safe here on my own, but clearly not. So this is spring 2015, 2015, is our well-being. And again, I just printed this one out. And this, so this was all about, oh, look. Look who it is. It's the lovely Lil, and we're making pancakes together. Look at her hair, doesn't that look amazing? Um, my hair's quite long there too. So, so that's basically what happened. Oh, some fabulous things in here, just looking at that. Oh, so I get distracted now. So what did I just spy? Oh, juicing. Lovely. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful photography. Oh, just really lovely. Anyway, so we did this and I thought, well, that's great. You know, we can do a quarterly digital. Great. And of course, then I started to get lots of comments and inquiries um, from people saying, well, this is lovely, you know, we really love it. But actually, do you know what we really want is we really want to see it in print. So it's like, really? <laughs> really? Okay. So we really thought about going into print. And this was at a time when all the magazines were coming out of print. So all my girlfriends who I'd worked with, because I used to work in magazines years ago, I started life as a health and beauty editor, you know, back in well, the 80s, back in the early 80s. And uh, so I thought, well, OK, let's let's have a look at print. But surely everyone's going online. They just, you know, want to read it on iPads and things. You know, who's buying print anymore? Everybody's stopping. All the magazines, I think Glamour had just stopped uh, printing. Marie Claire had stopped printing. You know, a lot of these magazines were, were, were either folding or were disappearing and just going online. So it kind of felt a little bit counter culture to be saying to people I'm going to print a magazine <laughs> and they looked at me as if I was mad and we found some printers so that was really great but then we couldn't find a way to distribute it to get it into the shops and we've tried lots of different companies and it was you know it's, it's a very difficult thing and the distribution of magazines if you know if you happen to be involved in that world you'll know that it's you know, it, it's quite a closed shop and the, the logistics are quite hard and we, we were just a little kind of one man band. So, oh, somebody saw me on this morning today. That's really interesting. What was I doing on this morning? <laughs> Must have been a very old film. OK, I should look into that. Thank you. Um, so anyway, so I really, really tried and we produced this lovely magazine. So we were ready to go digital and I really wanted to print it. And I just couldn't, couldn't find a way. And I was invited, it was in May, I know it was in May because it was around the time of my birthday. And I was invited to stay with some friends in the south of France. We've got a lovely house uh, in the Luberon, um, just near where the high altitude lavender grows, actually. So it's an area that I know quite well. And it was her birthday, I think. Um, anyway, there was a special occasion and they had this beautiful dinner in the evening and we were all sitting outside and little twinkly lights, and it was really special. And I sat next to this really interesting man, 
and uh, we were just chatting as you do and I said oh you know so you know what's what's keeping you busy these days and uh, he said oh I'm you know I, I have I'm sort of semi-retired but I'm chairman of various different companies and I said oh that's interesting you know which one do you find the most fun and he said well it's actually it's a small magazine publishing and printing company um, and we you know we distribute magazines and my eyes were like I do not believe this so I kind of like grabbed hold of him I also thought I was a mad woman and and I said you and I need to talk and I told him about my journey and about how I'd got this magazine and I really wanted to put it into print but I'd kind of thought I could print it but I couldn't get it into the shops and how was that going to work and he just said look just send me an email I'll connect you with with one of my team when we get back to the UK that's how it happened. So for a long time, um, we were with this lovely company called Archant, um, based in Norwich, and who looked after us incredibly well. And I'm hugely grateful for being part of our journey in the early days and just giving us that, that, that foot up. And, you know, it's weird, isn't it, how life kind of works out sometimes. You, you know, you walk through a door and something happens or you sit next to somebody or somebody says something and that then leads to something else. And, you, you know, I couldn't have planned it. I, you know, I couldn't have it just kind of fell into my lap so it was it was great so I don't know if you're watching Simon you probably aren't or maybe Bryony your lovely wife um, but I do have such fond memories of that um, so there we are so that's how it happened so the first two are online so that's a long way of telling you about the, the, the journey and then the next one that we did in print this is the first ever printed one and so this is summer 2015 I still think actually it's one of the prettiest covers I mean, I do just absolutely love it. Um, oh, Jane, you live very close to Archant. That's great, isn't it? Um, that's a lovely expression, Patsy. What's for you won't pass you by. What's for you won't pass you by. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so there we go. So um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if this is loaded onto the website. I don't know that we have very many of these. These are kind of like collectors collector's editions um so yeah so since then so if you count these two so that's one two three and then um how many have we got here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and this one makes twenty four the round dozen so there we are and we went then from being quarterly then we moved to Hearst, so then we kind of moved up with the big boys, which was amazing because I used to, as a journalist years ago, I used to write for magazines like Country Living and Country Life and She and all of those great titles, Good Housekeeping, published by Hearst, and then to, to kind of walk through the doors of Hearst, Inc., and, and see, you know, Liz Elwell being up on the board, you know, beneath Good Housekeeping and Cosmopolitan and, you know, it was, was amazing. And then I was nominated last year for Editor of the Year. Can you imagine that? So anyway, so long story short, um, here we are. And we're now bi-monthly. So uh, we do every other month, which I think is about right. I mean, I think to be honest with you, I think going monthly would probably kill me. So uh, I don't want to, I don't want to... Um, to expire just yet. I'd like to be able to carry on. But also I think there's something about having, it's something to look forward to because it pops through your door every other month and you've got that length of time to enjoy it. it as I said to you before, it's printed on book quality paper. So it's something that you hopefully will want to keep and, and refer back to. Um, anyway, that's my little well-being Wednesday for you. I just thought that it was appropriate being here in my studios to share a little bit of the backstory um, and to thank you, to thank all of you who do subscribe and who are part of this growing community. Um, it's lovely. So where do you go to get the messages written for the magazine? Okay, so uh, go to Liz Our Wellbeing website. Go to Liz Our Wellbeing website, click on magazine. So if you want the free month with Readly, go to where it says Did um, yeah, so if you want the free digital magazines, then go to um, the link where it says digital magazine. And then if you want the single issue here, this is, we're just doing the current one um, because that's kind of relevant to now. And we're doing it really especially for, for lockdown and to send to friends that, and family that we can't see um, with a personal message. Then we don't have a huge number. Sorry, I should just warn you. I'm sorry. It's not it's not unlimited. 
um, because most of our magazines have gone to uh, Warners for subscriptions. So maybe we can get some back, I don't know. Anyway, um, cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, so yeah, just, just throw that out there. Um, but any questions or comments, you can put them Facebook, obviously um, this will stay up. Instagram, you can go to Linktree, uh, everything there on Instagram. If you click the link in the bio, oh, you've, they've lost me on Facebook. It says poor network connection. I'm sorry, I had this before with Facebook when I was here last week. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if Facebook has stopped and I hope that everybody... Oh, you had to jump to Instagram, Gillian, I'm so sorry. I really don't know, you know, I'm here in South West London, so it should be. Maybe everyone's, you know, streaming Netflix or something. Um, but uh, talking about, you can't find the Digital Spring online, no, you need to go to the app. I'm sorry. Um, the if you go to Liz Our Wellbeing app, you go to the app store basically and download the app. That's the only way to get the the early early editions because we loaded them on an app. Um, so yeah, hi everybody from uh, Facebook. I'm sorry, I don't know what's gone on. I mean, I promise you, I didn't touch anything this time. I really, I just sat here, and uh, I think sometimes the network maybe just gives up. So real apologies. It's nice to be able to have two two ways of doing it, isn't it? With um, Instagram as well. And of course, we do load it to YouTube. So we'll put a note on Facebook. If people can't watch it on Facebook, um, we will load it up to YouTube a little bit later on. So hopefully they can catch the end of the story. Hi, you, hi, Denise, you've come over. You blame the beeping fridge. I blame the beeping fridge as well. <laughs> That's going to be my message for the today. I blame the beeping fridge. Uh, that is it. Yes, we do have yearbooks. Um, I've got them down on the farm. So when I'm back on the farm, I can sign those. I sign all my books. So if you want the book, I've also got a few of these, by the way. These are something that I discovered Whoops, in my um, uh, travels here to the studio. This is my juice book. I haven't got many of them, but I have a few. So again, I can sign these and send these out from the farm. If you're into juicing, now that we're coming into, you know, the months of summer where we've got lots of lovely produce, and if these lovely juices from the Healthy Juice Company, if these have inspired you to get juicing for yourself, um, then you might like to take a little look at my juice book. That's also on lizalwellbeing.com. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to be back tomorrow. I'm going to be cooking tomorrow. So shape things up a bit, shake things up a bit even. So yesterday it was beauty, today was a bit of a kind of general chit chat and tomorrow I'm gonna to be cooking. So uh, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day and thanks for being with me and um, yeah, take care, stay well, sending you lots of love. Bye.